guys are in safe hands, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Elena has no idea. Her mom be driving like a maniac. I am not a bad driver. What the <laughs> I heck? I have never, never <laughs> thank God, been in a wreck. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So we're on our way to Starbucks. Do we um, want to go to Starbucks? Is that where we're going to? I go guess back? so. Yeah. Do y'all want to go there first? We're basically going to have like a fall day. We just wanted to like go to Starbucks, go get fall decor, look at fall, fall fashion. Fall candles. Candles. All the fall all things. All the fall things. What is the day? September like 9th. 9th. Okay, so like it's yeah. starting to be like kind of barely cooling down a little bit. It's 88 degrees. I know. No, that is cool. But <laughs> it's this feels morning, colder than that though. Guys, this morning I went on a walk. It was 70 degrees. Ooh. That's nice. Omar and Elena have been riding bikes at night. Yeah. That's so cute. So sweet. so nice. I can just imagine her like, um, she really loves sitting back there. It's so cute. It's so cute. So me and Amanda are doing a cleanse right now. Um, no dairy, no gluten. So oh, yeah. So, so we're going to get um, like not really any processed foods. Well, like barely. I've had a few gluten-free crackers, like almond crackers. But typically I would get the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. So but it has dairy and yeah. sugar and all that. Like, so what are you guys going to get? I don't know. That's what I was just going to say. What am well, I going to get? Well, I'll probably do like an iced almond milk latte with a pop of vanilla. Can That's I do not that? very fall. I feel like I'm asking Lauren what I can eat on this cleanse because it changes every day. She makes new rules I make for new us. Rules. Yesterday you ate a potato chip and I was really offended. Honestly, that's, that's part, part of, cleanse, of the cleanse though. No, it's processed. Lauren, you just said I had a few crackers. Why can you choose what to eat? <laughs> potato chips are gluten free. Yes, that's true. That's what I'm saying. It could it's be made part with of the avocado cleanse. oil. No, we're doing. I'm not. just happy I'm not on this cleanse. Yeah, Lena. Literally. No, you eat so good anyway. The main reason I wanted to do it is I just like don't feed myself. Like I never eat, so I'm like I know. trying to. Like, I've actually been eating more. Yeah. Because I'm not, like, okay, I gotta eat to make sure I don't crave like unhealthy. Things. Yeah. So we haven't been eating like sweets at night or snacks at night yeah. or anything. That's, that's the. Fun. That's. You know, that's you're literally addicted yeah, to sugar. Your body is. Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> Excuse me, I literally just stopped. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. The camera Huge man. intersection. Excuse is me. even complaining. <laughs> you guys are fine. We're all fine. Maybe we can get something with. What are you thinking? Oh, we need to get a. Do you remember when last year we would get. I don't think it's. Is it out yet? The like toffee. What was that syrup that we got? Oh, the toffee nut syrup. Toffee nut. I think that's December. Oh, okay. We're not there yet. I've okay. actually been burning my a marshmallow fireside <gasps> candle because that's the only one I oh have. Oh my god. We're gonna go to Bath and Buddy and we're gonna. But it go. just, it's not fall. We need like fall candles. I know. Yeah. I feel like Lena's house is like already fall explosion. Yeah. I need to decorate my <laughs> own. Mine is not. I can't wait either. to see what we're gonna find. Okay, ladies. Okay. <laughs> What are you um, getting, Lena? I want the pumpkin cream cold. Get it. Lena, freaking do it, but get. You have to get it with like a decaf. Get a decaf. Americana. Okay. Coffee. Decaf coffee with pumpkin with the, cream cold foam on top. Yeah. On top. Okay. You will love it. It's okay. So I'm getting that. Can I please get a grande iced decaf coffee with pumpkin cream cold brew on top? Do you guys have the pumpkin cream cold foam? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, that one. Can I get a uh, two grande iced almond milk lattes? With two pumps of the pumpkin sauce. The heck, pumpkin sauce? What the heck is that? I don't know. All right, and that was the same for both of them, right? Yes. And can I get extra ice? Yeah, no problem. Extra ice on both of them? Yes. Get you at the window. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. What the heck is pumpkin sauce? <laughs> I do not know. Wait, let Let's me find see. my thing. Oh, did I bring Lauren? Is this like some healthy, like? I don't know. I think thing? I saw it on TikTok. Should not bring your phone. Where's my phone? Okay, thank you. Look at that cinnamon on top. Or actually, it might be like pumpkin pie spice or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, really good. It's fall, you guys. It's fall. <laughs> if you want to be in fall mode, you go to Starbucks, get a pumpkin cream cold brew, yeah, whatever, check. and then go to Bath and Body Works, and yeah. then you're in the mode. And then you're in the mode. Yeah. And you can go to Target, too, if you want to have like a little extra. Unless you're on a cleanse, then oh, you yeah. would, or a boring drink. <laughs> we should Google I just really want to know what pumpkin has, sauce is. Um, it has sugar, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. Of course I it does. Why we're making this There's one. the first hot we're spending on the second Thank one. you. I'm going to ask her what pumpkin sauce is next. There's a second person. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. What's in the pumpkin sauce? Do you know? Or 
from what it is. I personally don't. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. That's okay. We're drinking this. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, my sisters, they ordered it. They're stupid. <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok where they like shake, like you walk in, you like shake your yes. drink? Okay, ready? Why does it say one, two, three? <laughs> one, two, three. Wait, I said bismillah. Wait, Lena, this is do not enter. Yeah, yeah I know, I'm going anyways. Oh, bismillah. Okay, this is so good. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, Lena, well, I don't want you to try it because of the caffeine, mm. oh, but yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that you would like this because it's not very sweet. And it just doesn't have any dairy. It probably does. Oh my no, god. I mean, if it has dairy, then I can't drink it. Lauren, we just asked her what's some pumpkin sauce, and she said, I don't know. Can you Google it? It's so good. I think it's what's in there, but not, um, I think it's just sugar. Where are we going first, you guys? Do you, you want to go, go get your baby? Should we get our baby first? Or yeah. Get, um, Let's okay. get the baby. Pumpkin spice sauce, sugar, condensed skim milk, <gasps> pumpkin puree contains two or less of fruit and vegetable juice or for color, natural flavors, blah, blah, blah. They did not tell me it had... It's kind of just out the window, just so you know. It's just a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I only got two pumps. Like, I'm not supposed to expose myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but it's so good. I should have just got a pumpkin cream cold brew. No, that has too much sherry. This is only a little bit, and it's 2%. <laughs> I'm about to throw you out this car. Lena. <laughs> literally drenched in sweat from <laughs> being nervous really? in this back seat. I'm sorry. It's okay. Turn on the AC and drink your drink. You'll be fine. <laughs> have have, have ice cream macchiato. <laughs> Go to therapy and eat. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. Like, shut up. Drink an ice cream macchiato and go to therapy. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Close your eyes and relax. Don't even watch the road because no? it's not going to help anything. I think you shake it to like redistribute the flavors, you know? I don't do that. I do because like... Coffee connoisseur lore. Because like the ice melts and then like it can be a little bit watered. So you do that. <laughs> that redistributes. Yeah, kind of. You know, Muhammad gets light ice in his coffee mm -hmm. because he's like, you want more of the drink. Yeah, that's because he's cheap. <laughs> Lauren! Just kidding. Oh, come on, man. I like that. Because I know him, he's like, they rip you off if you're getting a grande, then you get the size of a tall. So yeah. he's like, I'm gonna get tell them no ice, so they fill the whole thing to the top. Yeah, but you just true. came for my man. I like extra ice. Yeah. So I can enjoy a whole, like a cold drink. Mm hmm. Comment down below if you get extra ice or light ice or just regular. Or you just get regular and you're not extra like that. Yeah, yeah I changed my flight. Mohammed is going to New York this weekend with some of his friends and I'm going to San Antonio because it's his sister's baby shower, but he's not going to be there. But we're both flying back to Dallas Sunday, so we're going to go eat before he goes back to San Antonio. That's so nice. I just changed my flight because I was landing like two hours after him. And he's like, I'll wait for you. I'm like, I'm not going to make you wait two hours for me. Yeah. Probably go to Alibaba because... Because it's Sunday. Yeah. I'm at the buffet. I have really good French. Busy drinking my She's drink. too busy. Like, <laughs> Do you really like it, Lena? It's so good. Lauren's well, really picky. She's really coming for me today. Like, what? What? You have these notifications that are so relevant. You check it. You make sure <laughs> it's Pinterest. I mean, it makes me feel well, like I'm... I make sure it's not an email because I get email like notifications. I'm not busy. That's Lululemon, not Pinterest. Oh, I thought, <laughs> really I thought it was me. Pinterest. I'm sorry. She like had gotten a spam call and she's like, okay, let me. And like every time Amanda gets a spam call, she like acts as if it's something Sometimes important. Sometimes I get important <laughs> calls that I don't know the number. And she's like, hold on, guys, let me answer the phone. She's like, hello. And it's like literally Amazon telling You're her. You're trying to reach you. We're cutting your yeah. door's extended warranty. <laughs> Oh, God. You do it all the time and it makes I know, me so I mad. <laughs> I have ad with Lena. Just kidding. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Where'd you That's get that you blazer? I know, I probably should. <laughs> it's from Mango, but from a long time ago. It's really cute. cute. Here is beautiful. Yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, I fixed it. Do you have a nice nap? Did you take a nice nap? Oh, 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 o
You can't make up your mind. <laughs> her grandma made her a smoothie. <laughs> she was crying until she got it and now she's obsessed. She's just like chugging it down. <laughs> it's banana, avocado, berries, almond milk, but it tastes like ice cream. Give Auntie Lulu a kiss. Just let me have it. We just want to eat my necklace. Oh, oh. okay. It's okay. Maybe later. Let's go, girl. Amanda, where's your coffee? I love the inside. You do this every time. Sun was it. Sun was it. It smells like fall in here. I know, it smells so good. This one smells like laundry. I know, that's what I just said. Oh, it does smell like laundry. I actually I really that. like that. I want to smell. Mm. What's this <laughs> called? She stuck her tongue out. <laughs> yes. This is so pretty. Is this not? No, it's really pretty. What do you guys think about this? That was very successful. Yeah. We actually, oh, what happened? We all bought the same two. Yeah. yeah. They were having a sale and it was a really good one. Yeah. Buy two, get two. I need to document this, you guys. What is it, Lena? It is fall. I I see it changing, even it's though it's 91 fall. degrees. Yeah. This is it's how we entertain fall. Elena. Or DJ. DJ Lele. DJ Lele. because our mic wasn't on. So I'm a little bit mad about that right So now. we're a little Fail. bit scared of her. I tried to like redo the charcuterie board. Basically, I did this all for a project earlier, so it was so cute. And then we've been snacking on it for the last 30 minutes answering it's okay. questions. We're gonna start over. We're gonna answer them better. We have flannel burning from Bath & Body Works. That's from our little haul that we did, which we were gonna do a little candle haul. But we wound up only getting like two different scents, which was this one and then Balsam Vanilla. And we're going to be answering a few of y'all's dilemmas yes. that you sent in on Lena's Instagram. Mm -hmm. And they are super good. Okay, so let's start with the first one. This girl says, oh, we've got a little, um, a little talker, but she's a little playing. lammy. Yeah, it's her bedtime and I just tried to get her to sleep and she was not having it. Because she heard you guys talking. I'm so sorry. We were literally me. Laura we literally talked so loud. I'm yeah, I know. I'm like, if they would just whisper she could go to sleep. Oh, sorry. This girl says she's unsure of a man I'm supposed to marry in a few months. How do you know if he's the right one? I thought a lot of people could relate. Yeah, and I was saying I feel like this is a good question for us to answer because in my experience I had an experience where I knew I was not supposed to marry this man and you two are obviously in a situation where you know you're gonna you did marry this man mm -hmm. and you're gonna marry this man and right. you're sure of it. So I think it's good for different perspectives. So I said that one of the best pieces of advice that I got that stuck with me was actually from one of you guys and some sweet girl wrote me and said, Lauren, like you will know this person is the one when they make you feel as safe and as comfortable as if you were like sitting with your mom or your sisters. Mm -hmm. And that really stuck with me because I was like, wow, like I feel so safe and comfortable, like safe in a way like your heart feels safe with this person. Like you can trust mm -hmm. your heart with this person. Like mm -hmm. I feel so safe and comfortable with my mom and my sisters. I can't mm -hmm. imagine what that would feel like to have a man that you felt that same way with. Yeah. So that really stuck with me. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about how when she first got engaged, I had this bad feeling about it. Mm -hmm. I talked to, to my dad about it. I did talk to Lauren about it, but whenever you're in that phase of life with that person you're kind of like infatuated you're blinded by love you are not thinking clearly and i feel like you just need to rely on the people around you who know you best who you can trust mm -hmm. like know your heart and know like 
who you would go well with. Mm -hmm. It's just really important to like lean on the ones who love you and their opinions as well. And I feel like if you're having second guesses or doubts about a guy, let's say you haven't gotten legally married, even if you've done your like mm -hmm. I don't think it matters because once you it's get never married, too late, baby girl. It's never too late. To it's too late out. when you have kids with one well, it's not too late when you have kids with this yeah, man. But, but, I'm saying, yeah, but you don't want to be better. It's better to end it now than, you know, get have a wedding, get married and mm -hmm. then be like two kids later. You move in with him and you're all mm -hmm. by yourself with him and you're like Oh no, I don't. I don't want to be with what this did person. I just do? Yeah, and then you're stuck. Don't worry about people on social media. Do not worry about Aunt whoever. If Lauren would have worried about what, other what everybody thought, thought, yeah. I mean, literally, if Lauren can do it <laughs> and it's right for you to do that, and you're scared, like you yeah. can do it. If I this mean, is your life. Like I still get questions to this day. Like, am I still in a relationship? Like that's how many people were involved in this situation. Yeah, at the know? end of the day, you just have to do what's best for you and yeah. not care about what other people no, think. No, it is not mm -hmm. even, nobody's business. And another thing that I think is actually unhelpful is when people say, well, when you know, you know. And that yeah. used to oh. really bother me because I was like, what do you mean when you know, you know? How are you supposed to know? You know that you would not be okay without this person in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you could not go on in your life if you didn't have this person in your life anymore. Yeah. But, so. like I said before, you can definitely feel like that when you're, like, infatuated. Just don't ignore red flags. Try yeah. to think with your head and not your heart. Yeah, it's so hard. That's why I need the people around you. Next question. Do you think men should have an opinion on whether or not their wife should work? And I feel like this it's is probably someone who's within a culture where it's not common for them to work. Men, I guess they can have an opinion. Like, if they... If that's what they want, they want a wife that's going to stay home, take care of them, take care of the kids, like be just a housewife, then that's what they need to be looking for. And yeah. they need to change someone else to fit their Yeah, needs. I think that's exactly. good. Exactly. Because I don't think it's bad if that's what you want. If that's what yeah. you want. Because it's girls not. have a right to want a guy who works. Works. Like, yeah. Right? right? So, yeah, they have their own qualifications. You know, I think us as women, we actually like tear men apart too much, you know? Yeah. We do. I feel like it's okay for him to want that, but it's not okay for him to want to change you. Yeah, yeah if you that. want to work, then I don't think your husband should be the one to tell you, no, I want you to stay home, you know. But just, yeah, find a woman who aligns with what you want and don't try to change somebody. Yeah, because you can't change someone. That's where compromise comes in. What are red flags to look for in a relationship? One what? thing that was important to me, I don't know if this is necessarily a red flag, but I always... Look at how your actually it is a red flag. How your significant other or someone you're interested in treats other people, like in public settings, mm -hmm. like a waiter at a restaurant mm -hmm. or their own family, their own family, family, their mother. That is so important, right? Just make sure they're like nice to people who they like only meet one time or mm -hmm. like have yeah, a like first a small impression. interaction with. A red flag for me is if you meet them, talking to them, getting to know them, and they just want to talk about themselves and they do not want Retweet. to listen yes. to what you have to say about yourself and they don't care <laughs> about you. That should be Lauren's red Literally, flag. That should be my red flag. That's a red flag. Do you know my name? <laughs> do you know anything about me? <laughs> oh, I think when they try to like change the way that you naturally are. Like how? You know? Like I'm a very sensitive person mm -hmm. and they try to like kick the sensitivity out of you. Like that's not the way to do it, boo-boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like this, so, like, you need to treat like me a they, Yeah, like, they don't try to change your personality. personality. Like they let you be your true let self. Let you be yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those are three red flags we'd watch out I think for. there's, yeah, those are three flags. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One moment. I wouldn't say it would have anything to do with the way they dress. No. It really doesn't. Oh, my God, no. I think one thing, like, women do, which I don't like, they pick apart men, like literally. His this, his that, his He his. was wearing Skechers. Yeah, he was literally like, wearing like, this. You can Skechers. buy him new shoes yeah. and that change the problem. <laughs> like, it's not about that. Like, imagine he didn't like your hair or your makeup or your shoes and clothes. Like, uh, the way I look at yeah. it is you can change all of those. Yeah. Things. You can buy him new clothes, buy him new cologne. But you can't buy him a new personality. Personality, baby. And he'd probably be very happy for you to come in and fix, fix him up. Fix him up. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't want a man who knows like all these girly things how to dress. Yeah. That's not masculine to me. I know. I and mean, there are some men. It's that are so good at funny that, but... because when I was first interested in like meeting guys, I would I would be interested in the like players. Yeah. Like the ones who like their Instagram is like and like their Instagram is like super into themselves mm -hmm, and yeah. like their styles on point mm -hmm. and all of this. Maybe that's a red flag. <laughs> Maybe that's a red flag. <laughs> that's what you need to look yeah. out for. I don't know. <laughs> They're like super into themselves yeah, a little bit. Yeah, super into much. themselves. I don't want to hate, because I'm sure there's some people who have like really nice Instagrams and they're like a really nice person, but. No, no, but personally, I'm not attracted to men who their Instagram is so about themselves. Like, it's just very weird. For it's me. like, don't take a selfie. Like, take a picture maybe with your sister. Yeah. But don't take like a selfie or like a picture of yourself. Yeah. It's weird, right? But it's true. <laughs> it's like that TikTok that's like. <laughs> What's your gender again? No, I mean, it did that one. Oh, yeah, you did that yeah. one. Selfies? <laughs> Not for you, man. <laughs> What's the red flag? I don't know. When they maybe. don't like Lemmy, uh, they don't um, read you books. When they don't give you milk. Are they just yeah. never gonna get married? Never. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got some problems uh -oh, on our hands, baby. Lemmy, love your pajamas. Don't see the girls. How to tell your man he's bad at picking gifts. Okay. But she put a laughing face, so she's kind of kidding. I mean, this is a good one because I'm sure a lot of us can relate. Like, husbands don't always know exactly like what to buy. Gift I mean, giving is hard. If I hard. was a guy and I had to give a gift to my wife, I mean, even giving gifts to men is hard for us. Oh yeah, it is. I would say. Like, imagine having to buy a gift for Lena. Like, what the hell do you buy? Her? I know. I know. We never know what to get Lena. Mohammed's not a bad gift giver, but one thing I've done to make sure I get what I want <laughs> is tell like his sister okay. what I want. So okay. that she can tell him. Why don't you just tell him? Because I I don't know. I just like okay. If a man were to ask me like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm not gonna say what I want. Like yeah. I'm not that kind of person. But if you're married, if you've been years. together yeah for a while and you want, yeah. they're gonna get you. No, a gift because anyway. I would not. Because even you guys ask me what I want for my birthday, I'm not gonna tell you. Like I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna say. I would say if you want to make sure you get a good gift, tell a sister. Or okay, here's like, the advice. What is Tell it? them, okay, if you know in the past your man has not given you a good gift, when he gives you the gift, do not act in any way that you don't like it. You'd be so appreciative and so thankful and it's so sweet that he thought of you. But don't you dare tell him right when he gets you that gift. Yeah, That's no. So oh, bad. yeah, oh my God, make, I would never. Would feel so bad. Mm -mm, don't be that kind of person. Yeah, I always make Omar feel like I love everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because, like, I don't care what anyone gets me. I think it's so sweet that, like, What's the they thought? think it's yeah. to get you something. Tell them in advance what you want or tell their family friends member. or family. I don't think there's anything wrong with hits. that. How are we supposed to divide expenses after marriage? Okay, we can talk we about We talked it, about this on one of girl my talk. videos, and then Mohammed and I actually talked about it afterwards. Did you? About what you guys are going to do? Yeah, but I feel like it's different because... We'll both be working, so we'll just kind of split up things like he'll pay for certain bills and then Every I'll pay for certain is different. things. Every there's, couple does it so differently. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. What Omar and I did when we were both nurses is we both had our own bank, bank accounts and then we had a separate one for the house account and we would just put money, each of us put money in there and we would pay bills with that, groceries with that, just like stuff that mm -hmm. like, was joint. would be joint, but then That's like I had idea. my money for like whatever I wanted to spend it on and he had his money or whatever he would just spend it on. So that's what we did. I love that. But now that we work on this full time together, we just have one bank account and everything goes everything in there. Everything goes in there. And it's, it's all the your same. Money. It just depends. When you have a business together, it's different versus if you have two separate jobs. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because we're watching Married at First Sight mm -hmm. and yeah. there's one couple that the guy is super into his like credit score and he doesn't have any mm -hmm. debt and he has all of his like account like he tracks his like how much he spends on like a whiteboard in his house and the girl is like more carefree and they're just opposites and he wants to combine everything and she's like not for it finance is like a huge I mean, like reason why people get divorced yeah okay. isn't it one of like the main reasons yeah it's something Stressful. you definitely should talk about before you get married for yeah sure. how to, like, will i get rid of the men are trash mindset i want to get married this is sad in a way because a lot of women hmm. do think that all men are trash and all men are not 
not trash. There are wonder, so many good men out there. Where does that mindset come from, I wonder? I don't know. I think maybe girls who've been hurt in the past. Yeah. Or something. Or just like all the men they've talked to are trash. Yeah. And they just like don't have any hope anymore. But I just never have had that mindset. I hate that for people because mm -hmm. men are not trash. They're not. I and mean, I don't like when women belittle men and make them feel like they're trash because like, you know, I think people put their past experiences onto others. I feel like there's always right person, right time. It's just never been their time before, so they mm -hmm. don't, don't even think it exists, but I promise you it does. If you do feel you are ready to get married, you need like, you know, let that go and maybe try to prove to yourself that that's not right. Girls who probably have that mindset haven't had any luck meeting a good guy. They probably met a lot of guys that obviously haven't worked out, so they're just like, men are trash. Or like, imagine you hear all your friends complaining like, ugh, oh, men are trash. Yeah. Then you're like, like maybe you surround like, yourself oh. with that negativity. Or, yeah. Because I mean, I mean, just try to think of some male figure in your life who is not trash, and just mm -hmm. yeah. like your dad or your uncle or like your grandpa or just somebody that you know is like a good man, and just know that that does exist. Yeah. Inshallah, it'll be it'll come for you like the perfect time. I know. Mm -hmm. I wish there was just like some magic formula to like meet the perfect guy you know? yeah, like where it's not all in god's time it really is i was talking about this with someone the other day when i pray i stop asking for like oh like can you give me this or this or that specific, specific things because yeah. think of it how is my human brain me supposed to know What's what is good, good for me, for me? you know so think of that concept so really and you know i never prayed for anything specific i always just asked what and that's what I me. did. I, well, I what was best, but I was like, just please bring me like a good Muslim man. Like, yeah, that's all. That's literally the only thing I ever said that I wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's really. That's, yeah. I honestly think that's the best way to. to I pray. always like not even just for a man. Like in general, well, I always yeah, just general, say yeah. like, whatever is meant to be, let it be. And if it's not meant to be, don't let it be. Like I know Allah's plan is the best. So who am I to sit here and ask for? Something can specific, you give me this certain yeah. thing in this certain time? Isn't yeah. it crazy how the older you get, the way you pray changes? Like right. when you're younger, you ask for like specific yeah. materialistic, you not important things. You were telling us you something the other day. Oh my god! So oh, when I was like a little little girl. Uh -huh. Okay, when Baba like first told us like how to pray and like what you can ask God for anything. Yeah. I literally asked for a parrot <laughs> and a kitten. Yeah. And to be able to do magic <laughs> and to fly. Please God. Please. Please. I wake up the next morning and it's our own thing. <laughs> Oh we can't find this specific question, but the gist of it was what do you do when your mother-in-law is trying to plan your whole wedding and you have no control over it? How to set boundaries? Yeah, and I said it depends on who is paying for the wedding because if your mother-in-law is paying for the entire thing, then I can see why she would feel like she needs to have a say in it, even though really she shouldn't. Like if I was the mother-in-law like being kind enough to pay for the whole thing, like, I would still be like, okay, this is your day. Like, I want you to get what you want. I'm just going to pay for it. I want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. But there's some mother-in-laws that are like, no, this is my day. Been waiting yeah. all my life. For, for my, my baby. For my son. My son's getting married. Yeah. My baby boy. So, <laughs> you know those baby boys. <laughs> those Arab moms. And those Arab moms God. and their babies. If there was a way that you could be like, well, we, my family wants to pitch in so that, you know, I can get these certain things that I want. You got to talk to your husband. I know I, I would say go him. through like let your husband like you were saying Lauren let your mm -hmm. husband be the one to maybe mother. be the middleman between because I would never I don't have a mother-in-law but I swear I would never go and tell them something like confrontational over oh, my like, dead body I swear yes. like that is oh my god I cannot even imagine myself oh doing my that so no. go to your man go to your husband tell him listen baby doll this is what i want can you please also tell your yeah mother? if that doesn't work then i would just go to her and be like this is the wedding i've been dreaming of my entire life is there any way shape or form that can we could just please? not do what you want to do i know <laughs> and i can do what i want to do unfortunately some mother-in-laws are very very controlling and toxic and i've heard horror stories so i know like one i of don't our wish friends, that on anyone one of our friends literally had her mother-in-law plan her entire wedding mm -hmm. and you could totally tell because like on the wedding day her mother-in-law was just in the center of the dance floor like acting Which, like she was the bride mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were like what in the world mm -hmm. you have to really love your husband yeah you do at the <laughs> end of the day what matters is the marriage the marriage you yeah. know the wedding is just a celebration at the end of this you're getting to marry like the love of your life it's easier 
to say that when yeah. you're not the bride. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. You ought to eat anything. Lauren, I have, have ate, eaten so much. Yeah, I always I'm do. so full. Like, I eat more than everybody. No, I've been I eating it. If eating. y'all watch this back, I literally am stuffing my face the entire yeah. time. And y'all are like literally. Comment like, down below who's <laughs> stuffing the face the most. It's probably. <laughs> I love this little honey stick. I know. It's I know so it's cute. so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment a white heart. Okay. Yeah. If you made it to the end of the video, and let us know what you guys want to see in our next sister channel video mm -hmm. because we always want like new creative ideas mm -hmm. and what y'all's opinions like what you like to watch. So yeah, like what kind of videos and styles you like. Mm -hmm. So see we you love guys. you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.